Hello, guys, and thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Indiana Sports Connection. I'm your host, Aaron. Let's get right into talking about Colts football and Indiana football and Indiana basketball. It's all happening this weekend. We're also going to talk about the Notre Dame-Ohio State game in this episode and what to expect from Anthony Richardson. It's all coming up on this episode of Indiana Sports Connection, a fan's perspective of all sports in Indiana. Let's get right into it. But first, this episode is brought to you by Reynolds Wrap. Reynolds Wrap is an American company making the greatest aluminum foil on the planet. Save time. Save time cleaning up. Wrap all of your vegetables and all of your grilling needs in Reynolds Wrap aluminum aluminum foil and save time and get back to watching the game. Grilling stuff during halftime? Use Reynolds Wrap. Get right back to that couch and don't miss any part of the big game this weekend. Use Reynolds Wrap when you're grilling outside or in your oven. Use it as tops or lids for all sorts of purposes. Reynolds Wrap, an American company. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this episode. So we're going to get in. We're going to talk about Anthony Richardson. We are going to talk about the Indianapolis Colts and Gardner Minshew and the Indiana Hoosiers. So I have been ping-ponging in my brain all week about what should the Colts do. This game, is it not important at all for the Colts? They are going to have a very difficult time winning this game with or without Anthony Richardson. So should they play him or not? I feel like for these reasons, he should play. And I feel like he is going to be cleared off a concussion protocol. Let's just make this clear. If he's cleared off of the concussion protocol, say this afternoon, and today is Friday, um, if he's cleared today, he'll be able to do like a walkthrough tomorrow afternoon. He just needs to be cleared and have 24 hours. And if he's cleared, that means that he is 100%. They don't give you like, okay, you're 70% healed from this concussion, so you can go back out there and play. If he's cleared, he's 100% to play. I think that's where most people are really getting this mixed up on all the different things I've seen out there because I've heard many people say, oh, he's got a concussion. They should just sit him out this week regardless of what happens and um, that no matter what, they should just sit him out even if he's cleared to play. If he's cleared to play, he's 100%, and he should play in this game because the Colts don't have a chance in this game with Gardner Minshew. I'll say why. I mean, the the Ravens have one of the best secondaries in all of football. They always have great corners and safeties. That will make it very, very difficult for Gardner Minshew to just continually to throw the ball underneath. He is just a check down Charlie out there. Minshew... Minshew can't use his legs like Richardson can. The other part why I think Richardson should play is because of all the reports, even on Monday, they're saying Richardson likely out for the game Sunday. It's going to catch the Ravens a little bit off guard. I I feel like if he plays that they, I, I feel like they're spending their week kind of like preparing for both Richardson and Minshew And when you're spending 50% of your time, you know, looking at one quarterback or the other, or they could be spending all their time on Minshew. I don't know how they do things at the Baltimore Ravens, but that would be advantage Colts in this situation where Richardson trots out there and plays and the the Ravens, and they're going to be well prepared. I mean, it's not like they've not faced other um, running quarterbacks. I mean, uh, It's not going to be like your typical Shane Steichen offense, but, I mean, this guy's adding more and more and more stuff. I mean, and you could see he had, like, transitioned as soon as Minshew came into the game last week, how quickly this guy really put together a good plan to get the ball underneath uh, with Minshew. So so I do think that uh, Richardson needs to play in this game, and I feel like he is going to play in this game. 
And I feel like that is the only chance for the Colts to win this game is if he does play. The other thing that's going to come into play in this game is the running game. There is a tropical cyclone going up the East Coast. Some people are saying it might move past Maryland by 1 o'clock on Sunday. They're still saying calling for a lot of rain on Sunday afternoon in uh, Maryland. So, uh, yeah, that could change the outcome of this game. If it turns into a slog of a game, now one thing for them like, they picked up a running back. They actually picked up Drake from the Colts that the Colts released because J.K. Dobbins, their lead running back, is out with an Achilles tear. So maybe that will be an advantage Colts. I will say in this uh, Zach Moss that the Colts have, he is like just takes such a choppy little steps. I mean, he's not the fastest guy in the world, but this guy would be able to run in a freaking snowstorm I'll tell you that much because, I mean, he's just really like grinds his legs more than a lot of running backs out there. Um, so Zach Moss in the rain with Anthony Richardson running the ball, I feel good about that. I feel like they they would be able to run the ball somewhat on, on the Ravens. Both the Ravens and the Colts have pretty decent run defenses. The Colts have the best run defense yards-wise in the league through two games. The Colts have not given up yards on the ground this year. Now, it's a small sample size, but one of those game, both of those games indoors, though, and uh, and still the Colts not giving up a lot of yards on the ground. So, and, uh, and the Ravens, the Ravens as well, they have that Simeon in the middle, and uh, he is a beast, and just kind of like, I mean, he's bigger than DeForest Buckner, but he's just a really good run stopper. So, Anthony Richardson, I feel like the keys are he's got to play in this game. If it's a mutter game where it's rain is coming down, the running game for the Colts, this could be a low-scoring game where, and they got the best kicker in the league. This could be one that comes down to a Justin Tucker kick or who can kick the best in the rain in a on a sloppy day could turn out to be a game like that. I mean, everybody remembers the Peyton Manning playoff game when they went to the Super Bowl. They won that game, that playoff game with five field goals, won like 15 to nine. So, hey, field goals can be your friends, especially against a team like this. The Ravens are employing a little bit different type of offense than they have in the past. Greg Roman is not there anymore. They can dial up the running game when they need to, but they have been coming out with much more three wide receiver sets with one tight end, not three tight end sets. So you're going to see they're trying to make, they're trying to keep uh, Lamar Jackson healthy for as long as they possibly can. Um, so, yeah, so they do not want him to run the ball unless he absolutely has to, but he will run it. I mean, the Colts are going to have to bottle him up and keep him in the pocket, even though they're trying to make him not run the ball. He will take off and run, and he's so slippery once he's, like, outside the pocket. It can be very difficult to track him down and make tackles. I will say this about the Colts. The Colts have done a great job tackling. I mean, over the last five years, I used to hate, they, they used to be one of the worst teams tackling like out on the perimeter. And they've really improved that over really like the past five or 10 years. Their, their defense has just continually gotten better at tackling on the perimeter. So, um, sorry, I have been sick and I am just like struggling to talk right now, but we're just looking at that. Um, just kind of the dynamics of the game, like how this is all going to break down. So, um, Richardson plays. I feel like Gardner Minshew plays. The Colts, there's just not a lot to talk about. I want to see more of Richardson. The other reason I want to watch Anthony Richardson play this game is to watch how he can react to a team that he's not been practicing for all week. So can Anthony Richardson beat a team 
if he's in concussion protocol all week, doesn't have a lot of time to be out on the field to actually practice, could he beat this team? I think that's why this is an, a valuable experience for him as a young player in the NFL. Um, just that experience. You're playing a super tough team on the road, two weeks in, two weeks on the road in a row. You were in concussion protocol all week. Now you have to go out there on Sunday and play in this game. I just think that that is a valuable experience for Anthony Richardson to have to do that and have to get out there on the field and prove himself in a game like this where he didn't practice against that team all week. So I believe the Colts, if Richardson doesn't play, I think the Colts have about a 5% chance of winning. If he does play, I think the Colts have about a 30% chance of winning. Um, It's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough uh, team to play against. And we really... You, you got to take what the defense gives you with this team, and they're going to be just a physical tackling group. But the first half a couple years ago, I mean, Jonathan Taylor, and he's not going to be out there, but Jonathan Taylor, like, ran a screen in for a touchdown. Like, the Colts, like, torched them in the first half, and then the Ravens came back and beat them in the second half when the Colts had, like, all their corners were injured in that game. But, and Saturday, we have the Indiana Hoosiers playing Akron. There's nothing else to be said about this. Indiana has to win this game. They can't lose this game to a MAC team. They have very few games that they have an opportunity to win. It's this Akron game they need to win. Michigan State, they could probably win. Or Purdue. Um, th- Those are about the only teams that they will have a uh, opportunity to come away with a victory and then the other big game that i'm really looking forward to notre dame and ohio state neither one of these teams have really played anybody this year yet so it's as unpredictable as unpredictable can be i want notre dame to win obviously but this is just going to be one of those games where whoever loses this game is drastically going to fall in the statistics because both teams they've both teams have played practically nobody's the whole season so far so really want to see Notre Dame pull that game out and put Ohio State in the uh loss column and uh yeah should be a, should be a good game Indiana has to win and we'll talk more about the Colts tomorrow the uh Anthony Richardson concussion protocol I believe he's going to be cleared to play just by watching the injury and what other people have said about it. But I think the Colts can keep the Ravens on their toes by just not saying anything and holding this in their back pocket until the very last second and then pulling the trigger Sunday and get Richardson out there, catch him by surprise. And maybe the Colts can get a win out there. They just got to look. The Colts just got to win like one of two the whole way. They play the Rams next week, so that will be like their must-win game. And and the Rams are playing a little bit better. But this is one, the Ravens, this is just going to really show how good are the Colts actually and how are they going to look against a really, really good opponent. I can't wait to watch the game. I'll do some more thinking about it and talk more about the Colts tomorrow. Until next time. Stay classy out there, Colts fans.